Street Fighter 6 LCQ just came to a finish and there might be a new top tier that people I believe are going to see the way and you might be thinking oh is it the person behind your webcam are we talking about Punk the Gods Cammy? Let's watch this set play out and I hope you enjoy the video if you do please hit that subscribe button comment down below and leave a like. So we are starting Here the set go. from oh, the yeah. reset. That is right, reset. Punk okay. the God currently Maybe. beat Maybe. Problem X in winners. Then they meet again in grand finals after Problem X beats JB. And then Problem X then resets the bracket to 0-0 zero, zero against Punk the God. Very interesting. The one thing I have been talking about, and I believe that people will finally listen to me. Like, all right, like there's that crazy content creator again outside screaming, Blanca's underrated. Blanca's underrated. I'm telling you, Blanca is a great character. All right, but let's get into all exactly on what happened. So, Problem X, one thing that Problem X landed a lot this run, and you'll see it, is Problem X lands a lot of DPs. And Punk the God lands not that many. Uh, not close enough to stun, unfortunately. But honestly, I would say it seemed like Punk the God for how great of a caliber of a player he is. He will be better than 99.9% .9 of players. I felt like while watching this grand final, he was playing kind of nervous. And I, you know, I, um, in between rounds, I like to go on Twitter, you know, during the breaks and stuff, see, like, if people are posting anything about the matches, you know, based like that Super Bowl. Like, you know, you know, like, you know, like during the Super Bowl, they put, like, that hashtag Super Bowl is, like, some guy named Jeff. He's like, I can't believe the goddamn Kansas City win to overtime. Hashtag Super Bowl. That's kind of what I, what I like to do with Street Fighter. And Punk the guy did say that he was nervous. Um, so it is terrible. Also, Blanca's level two uh, does a lot of damage. Blanca, uh, there we go once again. A lot of DPs came out by Punk the God, but this is something that I believe shocked everybody. Punk the God drops Cammy after using Cammy, I believe, the entire tournament so far. Switches to top tier number one, Luke Crouchy Media Punch. Yo, Luke's busted. Luke plays the game for you. If you play Luke, you're bad. Interesting statements coming out of your mouth. The, okay, also, I do want to talk about, and I think this is going to go highly underrated for the LCQ, is that they included all of the costumes and all the colors. You know, allowing players to really play the color or costume, you know, that they're used to at home, I think that's something amazing. Oh, look at that. Look at this. Trade combo with Blanca... Trading with, you know, Crouching Medium Punch. And Blanca ends up for, you know, in favor? I thought Crouching Medium... Oh, there goes our DP by Puck the God. You know, I thought, I thought Luke's Crouching Medium Punch was broken. What's going on here? I, I also think... If I'm being honest, I feel like Punk the God... For him knowing every character... Oh, this is also very tough. Hit confirms the Crouching Medium Punch and the Crouching Heavy Punch, which does the, the nose breaker. Which leaves you in range for a grab. It leaves you plus. Um, it is a good mix-up tool sometimes. But Punk the guy being so close to dying that even if he blocked that Blanca ball, he would have probably died from chip. So overall, kind of a checkmate situation with Blanca. And you know, Blanca did have level one. And he could throw out a little Blanca chan in level one, and then Punk would have gone chipped out that way. A lot of a lot of interesting things happened. Sandblast. But I think Punk should have my this might sound like some propaganda stuff, but I think Punk should switch to um to Ken. I think with the way Problem X is playing, or you know was playing, he, Problem X mashes parry. Ah, mashes right. Who the fuck am I? Problem X um uh, used a lot of parry. I feel like Jin right kicks if Punk played it right could have baited out the parries by doing an empty Jin right kick, but. You know, decided to go to Luke. Maybe this is uh, Punk the God. Oh, it's shot live. Here, here, yep. Luke, heavy punch, heavy knuckle, level three, does roughly 50% HP, I feel like. Um, it's a very, it's a very non-scaled combo, some might say. Very non-scaled combo. Punk the God now just continuing the nooch. 
How old is you know that punk? You know that problem X beat Punk the God at like another tournament, and he like was very very upset. You know, like that's like you could say what it is, but that level of passion because you know a lot you know players put their time and effort into into the game that they play. That kind of passion I do respect. You know, if you're like, man, I really lost and I wanted to win and I dropped it at the last second, now I'm gonna fucking just melt as a human being. I respect that, my guy. You know, hopefully you get some sloppy top later on to cheer you up. Dude, I'm saying, man, if you if you go to a tournament, if you go to a tournament and your girlfriend doesn't slop you up afterwards, whether you lose the tournament or win it, you you know, that's kind of that's that's a red flag. You know, that's a red flag. Can you imagine flying, spending all of this money? You know, you make it a top eight, then you make it a top four, you lose, and then you go back to your bedroom and no sex? Now, granted, consent is a very important thing. Like, let's not even, you know, beat around the bush on that. I assume uh, in this situation, your girlfriend will say yes to sex. But however, if there's no mention of sex at all, you know, you're like, man, I'm kind of sad. And she doesn't like be like, oh, I know how to make you feel better. And she doesn't just unzip, you know, your third leg. That's actually kind of psychotic. All right, what's happening right now? Problem X is currently up 2-0, right? Problem X is up 2-0. And use again, using this Blanca level two might be the one of, you know, people say JP's level two is really good. And JP's level two is really good because it has a lot of setups. I think the utility wise of Blanca level two basically can 100% your health bar with a reset and a, and a Blanca Chan. I mean, that's something that people aren't really talking about. Once again, Punk the God just letting these DPs go. Even though majority of them have been whiffing, you just really let it. There's that forward heavy punch. You can mash in between it. So Punk blocks, but could have committed because Problem X didn't press a button. The one interesting thing also about Punk the God is no DPs. Uh, there's Problem X. Does it? Now this needs to be studied. Because what the hell combo was Punk the God going for that ended up costing him the round? I think at that moment, if Punk the God committed to the combo because he wouldn't be able to level 3 CA, I believe he could have turned this tournament around. The mo but I believe him dropping a combo like that in such a crazy way and then losing the round, which then causes this to happen, um, this is something that just caused Punk the God, I believe, to just regress mentally in this situation. Now, Grant, is Punk the God still one of the best players in the world? Yeah. Um, but there he is. He's dead. A game he could have won because he dropped the combo. He ended up losing the game. That's the worst feeling in the world. That's that's a terrible feeling in the world. I mean, shout problem X, right? I mean, at the end of the day, even though I am like a punk fan, I enjoy punk streams. You cannot take away problem X. Earn this spot in the Capcom Cup. I hope he gives it his all. I hope he makes it out of his pool. I believe he has like dual Kevin and some other individuals. He's not in group seven, which is a great thing, but shout out the homie problem. Punk, right? This, this, you know what this is about to be? You know what this is about to be? This situation right here this is about to be like, who's number one? And then they say, uh, you know, Angry Bird. Like, oh, Angry Bird. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And then they go, who's number? And then they're like, uh, Punk, the guy's not even on the list. And like, Punk's not on the list? Who's on the list? Mr. Crimson. Mr. Crimson's on the list and Punk's not on the list. Shout out the homie Crimson. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's nothing wrong with Mr. Crimson, but, like, people clearly want Punk or Cockaroo to make it. But I'm rambling at the end of this video. Thank you for tuning in. Great. You appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button. Comment down below. Leave a like. Trying to 10,000 subs. And that's all on you. And I'll do my best to help along the way. And I'll see y'all then. See ya.